Well, Will, thanks for talking to us, having a, a little chat, a little catch up. Let's just uh, turn the clock back to, to Saturday. I think uh, you've had a, a nice weekend, all of you. Yeah, it was a brilliant weekend. Finally got the win, and we're all feeling a lot more confident now going into tomorrow. And I thought everyone was brilliant Saturday, and we dug in and got a great result in the end. As we know, it's been a long time coming, but how much confidence does a, a win in football give, give players? Oh, massive confidence. When you're, when you're in a rut like we were in, of not winning games, it's it's hard to, you know, build momentum, any momentum at all, and um, to get the win on Saturday just gives us so much more confidence. And now we know we can win games. And it's a, it's a great feeling, isn't it, for, yeah. for you as players, for everybody connected to the football club. Yeah, yeah, three points is massive, especially when we're down there. And yeah, we all worked hard for it. I've heard the lads training all week, double, double sessions, and um, we got what we deserved in the end. Has that been good, the, the way that you, you've gone about, you know, the, the, the sort of the build-up to, to try and get that win and then it all comes together on a Saturday? It makes you feel, feel even better, does it? Yeah, well, I was away for the week and then um, I came back on the Thursday and uh, the gaffer and Kenny were drilling us in on what they wanted us to do on Saturday and I thought we um, did exactly what they asked for. We played football and pl uh, passed it really well, I thought. And of course, uh, the manager elected to name a, a very young back back four, if you wanted to say, you know, you played more or less with a five in the back, but yeah. four homegrown players across the back, just your own feelings of that, because you're one of those. Oh yeah, it's brilliant. I, I love playing next to them all on Saturday. We um, all grew up through the academy, so we know how the gaffer wants us to play and when we play for the first team, so I thought we did brilliant on Saturday. And just a word on Zach Williams, he's come in, as he's he? so played 100 games, not yeah. just, uh, just two or three. Yeah. Two, you, you know him well, of course, you know. The Welsh Wall, as they're calling it now, you've got a bit of a nickname, the yeah. Welsh Wall, but uh, just a word on, on, on his, his progress and how he's settled in. Uh, he's brilliant. He's come in, he came in in pre-season, there's a few of them coming through at his age group and they're all really good players and Zach trains hard every day, he plays like he trains, he's aggressive and he's a confident lad and in the last two games he's been arguably our best player, so um, he needs to keep going and working hard and... I'm sure he'll keep doing as well as what he's doing. Did it, has it not surprised you the no, way not he's fitted in? Not one bit, no. Not one bit. He's confident, he works really hard and he's reliable when he plays. So, yeah, he stands out in the 23s games and, yeah, he deserved his chance. And for you, on a, on a personal note, you know, back in the team, you're getting that run now. And do you feel more confident in your, in your own, own self and own ability? Yeah, I do. I've um, I played a few games now in League One and... I think, I've done, I think I've done all right, so um, I hopefully I can keep this run going of playing well and helping the team win games. And how good does it help you when you come up against the likes of John McKinney was the last game and you play some, up against some bigger you know, centre forwards as well? How much does that give you that you, you're coping? Uh, it gives me a lot of confidence because John McKinney is a well-known player in this league, so um, he was tough to play against, um, very strong, but um, yeah, I thought we all did well against him. What you've got to do now is get ready again. You haven't got too long to prepare, but it's all about keeping the momentum going. You've, you've got, it's got to come, hasn't it? It's got to be a run. Yeah, we've got to go into tomorrow's game and we'll be going in there, hopefully, to get the three points. We'll work hard, stay in training, and hopefully the gaffer, uh, we put in what the gaffer asked us to do and um, keep playing football. And as you say, you know, that one win doesn't t turn it all around, but it, it gives everybody hope. Yeah. We, um, as I said, we're a lot more confident now going into tomorrow's game and uh, we'll be going down to Wimbledon to get the three points. How difficult has it been though over this period, you know, to, to keep up on a high spirit? Yeah, it's tough. Um, um, I've been on loan a few times and when I go on loan, usually it's the teams that are struggling. So I understand kind of what it's like to go to a team that isn't winning games. So um, it's tough. And once you get that first win, it's a massive boost. So hopefully... Like I said, tomorrow we can keep it going. Over the many, many years, everybody's sort of targeting Wimbledon with a style of play and being up and under and get the ball forward. Yeah. But I don't think that's the case anymore. Yeah. I think it becomes more of a footballing team that they've got under new new management. Again, that could just help you in the way that you like to play. Yeah, it'll be a passing game and hopefully we outplayed them. They're a, they're a young side, aren't they? So, yeah, we're a young side too, so it'll be a good matchup.